Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie with Coin Casso, and in this episode, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about tokens. We're gonna discuss what a token is, how many different types of tokens there are, and how to actually use tokens. So if you wanna get educated on everything cryptocurrency, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel where we have multiple episodes on cryptocurrency knowledge for you to get educated. So you know about cryptocurrencies and you've heard the word token being thrown around. A token is basically a placeholder for future value or a product or service. Think of it like a $50 iTunes gift card that you can buy on eBay for 30 bucks. That gift card is just a piece of plastic, but if you use it at the store it's intended for, you can exchange that value for something material. Now I'm gonna attempt to explain this in the most basic way possible, but it is better if you have some sort of financial knowledge like stocks and equities and bonds. Okay, so how many types of tokens are there? There's actually three, a currency token, a utility token, and an investment asset token. Currency tokens are tokens that promise future value by exchanging your token for the cryptocurrency once the project is finished. For example, when the Ethereum platform was first proposed, you could buy an Ethereum token for 18 cents. Now, Ethereum coins, Ether, are actually valued at $170 each. Next up, we have a utility token. A utility token is actually built to provide investors something other than money. For example, many cryptocurrency exchange platforms offer tokens to their investors, and those tokens are actually used to reduce the transaction fees for people trading on their platform that hold their tokens. So it has no monetary value, but you actually get a discount from using them. And lastly, we have an investment asset token. Now this is very similar to a stock or equity in a company. These tokens are acquired through a process called an STO. STO stands for Security Token Offering. It represents tradable financial assets, and this is the most secure way of getting a token for investors because it's more regulated and prevents scams from happening. After Bitcoin gained world-renowned status after hitting $20,000, many companies began forming their own tokens to achieve that same status. They offered them to people for investment through a process called an ICO or initial coin offering. Now, we've gone in depth into ICOs in a previous video about altcoins, so watch that first, then come back to this video. But basically, an ICO or initial coin offering is a way to crowdfund for a cryptocurrency startup without going through the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. So ICOs are unregulated. Basically, these companies have an idea for a cryptocurrency and they crowdfund the funds to start the business through an ICO. Then once the project is done and live, those tokens are actually converted into the cryptocurrency. Now for the bad news. In 2017, there were thousands of companies releasing their ICO and their white paper with some fabricated made up business marketing to people, getting their attention, having people invest their money into their project. Then after the ICO was launched, the product developers actually took all of that money and ran. During this time, people and investors lost billions of dollars and made a very bad name for the cryptocurrency world. And unfortunately, that's the way of the world. There's always gonna be those people that try to scam other people out of their money. After this period in 2017, the Securities and Exchange Commission actually cracked down on these listings of ICOs because they are unregulated. They don't have to go through the process that the SEC requires to have equities in companies. Google and Facebook both block the ability to run ads on ICOs. At this point, the Securities and Exchange Commission actually offered something to these cryptocurrency companies, the option to do an STO. Now, this is very similar to a standard company's IPO. It's an easier process than an IPO, but it still goes through the regulatory standards that the SEC has. For instance, vetting the company to make sure they're a legitimate business and requiring investors to hold onto their tokens for an extended period of time after the initial STO. This prevents a lot of pump and dump schemes that we see. 
Now let's get into ERC20 tokens. You're actually able to trade these tokens on different cryptocurrency exchange platforms. Because they're based on the Ethereum blockchain and they actually hold a certain value, people trade these tokens just like they do cryptocurrencies. Now again, some tokens aren't worth much, but some tokens are actually very valuable. So let's wrap up this video. If you want to invest in a new cryptocurrency startup and they have an ICO, do your research before investing into them. I don't want you to be stuck in a position where you lose all of your money because you didn't do the research on the company. On the other hand, if the company is releasing an ICO, you already have the security and knowledge that this is being governed by the Securities and Exchange Commission in the United States. I still recommend that you do your research on the company to actually see if they will be successful because that's the determining factor. So basically, if you're looking for a place to invest your money, I'd rather go with an STO than an ICO. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to teach you something. Please don't forget to like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join us again tomorrow when we go over the top cryptocurrency prices as well as the top news in the last 24 hours. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like on your way out and we will see you tomorrow.